Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here. The sun is shining. It's the weekend. Everybody feels good, right? Maybe not? Okay, let's have a shave and try and improve that. Um, today's razor, I'm carrying on with the Pills razor. This was very kindly loaned to me by Barry, so I'm gonna uh, continue to use it. And then I'll have this shave, maybe another one more shave, then I'll send it back. Um, but I wanted to try see how it performed with um, a good few days growth. I have about uh, three, four days growth here. So I'm going to be using that again today. Um, you can check the previous video to this one uh, to find out all about this razor. Very, very nice two-piece razor. I said a three-piece, but it's actually a two-piece. Uh, there it is there. Uh, and the blade I'm going to be putting in that is a Zorik Super Platinum. Uh, someone suggested using one of them. I think it was Alex de Leon. Um, so there it is there, and this is, I think these are made by Supermax. Here's the um, box here. Yeah, Super Platinum. I was thinking the other day, what's the difference between a Platinum and a Super Platinum and a Super Stainless and a Super Chrome and a Chrome and a Stainless and a Plastic and a... <laughs> I don't know, this is a double wrap, which I like. There's the blade there. Zorik Super Platinum, exactly the same on the other side. So this goes on the razor like that, flat. There's the blade there. The head goes, the top cap goes on like that and you just screw the handle down. And the blade is in place. All nicely lined up, ready for the shave. Right, I'm gonna try a, a pre-shave I don't know if I've used this before, I might have used it on video, I can't remember. Um, but it's this, this is a EAD pre-shave cream. You can pick this up for about one pound in uh, one of the bargain stores over here. I can't remember which one, but you get this and you also get a post-shave cream. But um, uh, green tea, enriched with green tea, thyme oil, menthol, almond oil, and glycerin. Uh, there it is, if you can see that shiny writing. Yeah, so I'll give that a go. Just. Uh, I haven't used it, well I think I might have used it once on video, but it's there so why not use it? That's what I bought it for, right? So it's like a it's like a cream kind of thing. I'm guessing just that much. It smells like Nivea. I'll just rub that into the whiskers and let it work its magic. How's everyone? Are you all good? I hope so. Life's treating you well. Having some good shaves. Right, that'll do. Just wipe my hands and let me show you the rest of the shave. Right, <laughs> when did I do that there? Yeah, let's go. Woo! <laughs> Get you ass. Uh, today's brush, this is the Grey Dog uh, bore brush. This is a, a keyhole shape. This is Coco Bolo wood. Beautifully made, really, really nice. Yeah, there's a bore nut in there. It's been soaking in the Parasso Super Soaker. So I shall just put that back in there for the moment water in it. Yeah, it's been soaking for about 10 minutes just to soften the, the bristles of the hair. Uh, the soap for today, I've not used this on video before, uh, Turtle Ship Tejava uh, and this has, it's a tallow based soap, it's tallow, shea, jojoba, aloe and lanolin. Um, I, think this, I think I swapped this for something else, I can't remember which, which soap it was but um, yeah I've kind of forgotten all about it. Uh, here's the ingredients here. If you can make that out. Yeah, good good list of ingredients. Good stuff in the soap. Um, here it's here. Not much of a scent, it's a royal milk tea with honey. So it's a tea scented soap. Uh, there it is there, it's quite a... I took a little bit out just to kind of practice a bowl lather with it. I took too much so I put some back in. Yeah, there it is there. It's a nice enough scent, it's quite a light scent, but um, it's pleasant enough. 
royal milk tea with honey. So I'm thinking it's going to be quite a quite a calming soap, quite a calming scent. I don't know. Okay, let's take the brush, give it a shake, and we shall just go straight into the puck. Not blooming the puck, anything like that. And we shall load this brush. Yeah, there's a couple of people said from the last video when I used the um, the Chris Madden technique and a good fellow Scotsman although he has a beard at the moment so we'll forgive him for that because he is Scottish it's maybe cold out in Australia <laughs> well it's a summer here but it's, uh, it's winter there isn't it yeah Chris is a good guy yeah so some people said that they used his lather, lathering technique I think that's the first time I've tried it actually yeah it worked pretty well yeah, so as, as Chris has a beard now, it's uh, I'm nicking it. Yeah, I, I made that leather technique up. <laughs> okay, let's see if we've got enough there. Looks quite pasty. Let's just uh, take what's in the tub. And apply it to the face so I'm not, not wasting any lather. On. Yeah, it feels um, very nice. This soap, as I say, it's a nice, it's a, it's a light scent. Royal milk tea with honey. That just sounds calming, doesn't it? It just sounds like. <sighs> oh, to me, it does. A little slickness on my hand there. Okay, let's go with this uh, brush. Weekend again, eh? You can't beat it. Yeah, this bore brush is uh, really soft and the handle is very comfortable to hold. Grey Dog is a, a master when it comes to making handles and brushes. I'm just gonna get a little bit of water, dip the brush there. Some people say they can't get a lather from a bore brush. I think the key is to absolutely load the knot with soap. I'm just wet that again, adding some more water. Yeah, sometimes um, bore brushes eat the lather and badger brushes too, but if you put enough soap in there, you should be fine. Synthetic brushes are great, badger brushes are great. Um, bore knots feel, um, I don't know, it feels like a kind of history tradition to them for wet shaving, for traditional wet shaving anyway. Just dipping the tips again. in the in the pills razor. Let's see how this performs. How it gets on through um, four days of stubble. Yeah, 
this is the Razor FIR. Have you seen the last video? You have to kind of create the angle yourself. Yeah, it's not like a natural uh, kind of 30 degree angle, it's slightly steeper, about 35 degrees. Takes a little bit of getting used to, but um, once you've got it, it kind of becomes intuitive. And you'll, you'll feel it. So the, the normal angle would probably be about there, but this you have to tilt it a little bit more, and then you can really feel it doing its job. Yeah, it's a great razor. I really like it, um, but it is very pricey. Um, and to be honest, my favourite razor at the moment is still the Rockwell 6S. I'm probably going to get the the new Edwin Jagger razor, the uh, 316. And I just bought, I just bought a, a Razor Rock Game Changer with the 0.68 blade gap. I've got the 0.84, but the last shave I had with that was quite, quite aggressive, not aggressive, but it was quite rough. So someone suggested trying the 0.68, so uh, I bought one of those, so that's some waiting on that coming in the mail. Yeah, it doesn't... Um I think I said that the last time, this, this razor it doesn't feel like there's a blade in it. It's uh, super smooth. That soap's got great cushion. Yeah, and the head looks quite bulky for getting under the nose, but I don't have any issues with it. I'm managing to get kind of right up to my nostrils. Uh, without any problem. That's excellent. Nice slickness on that. Okay, first pass feels good. Sorry about that. I think the, <laughs> I think the camera was filled up with that. Um, 37 minute video, so um, I just deleted stuff, so I'm back here again. Uh, I do apologise about that. You've not missed anything, I've just still um, left this. Yeah, so what was I talking about? Oh, I can't remember. Was I talking about a uh, turtle ship making the handles for the brushes with the uh, mosquitoes and uh, fossils in it? Right, who shouted that? Who was it? Someone just shouted, you're an old fossil, Kevy. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky people. <laughs> you're an old fossil. Okay, second pass done. That feels amazing. Really nice. Okay, let me rinse, come back for the third and final pass. Okay, back for the third pass. Still 
plenty of lather left in this brush. And I think there are um, I think there's going to be an announcement soon for the um, annual meetup at the gentlemen's groom room here in Dundee for the Scottish Wet Shavers uh, Scottish Wet Shavers meetup. I think it's going to be announced maybe in the next week or two. Um, the date, I'm not sure when the date is, it'll be further on down the line, but um, it's going to be announced pretty soon. But as soon as I know, I'll let you guys know about it. Um, it would be great to see well, anyone that can make it to Dundee and is welcome. Um, it's, it's usually on a Sunday when the, the shop's closed that Ian opens up and has like 10% discount throughout the store and everything. Um, yeah, but it's good. To, it's just good to catch up with people, like-minded people, shavers, talk about gear. Um, there's a piff box that you can put stuff in and if you're looking to give stuff away and stuff like that, yeah, and there's raffles and yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, let's go on with the shave, the third pass with the pills razor. Okay, if there's such a thing as mild but efficient, This is it, I'll tell you what, this blade is very good. Feels very smooth. to be an excellent uh, daily shaver. Courage, please. Well, a night in the cells for him or her. <laughs> as soon as I said that, a scenario started happening in my head. Hear the, uh, the courage police knocking on the door. The guy coming in the door. Have you been using a cartridge razor? No, my wife's getting ready to go out tonight. She's just uh, shaving her legs. Right, get her out of here now. Get her in the van. He's got a different accent, that guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, the, <laughs> the woman bundled into the back of the van for using a cartridge razor. Husband stood at the door. What's going on? It sounds like a Quentin Tarantino film. It sounds like the kind of crazy stuff that he would do. <laughs> Brad Pitt and George Clooney as the uh, the cartridge police. Okay, three passes done. Let me have a, a little rinse and I'll see if there's anything even picked up. Any little bits of mist. Right. Usual bit there, right down there, and here, just the usual spot. That all feels good, as does that. Yeah, 
Isn't that funny how the three times you go over this and it still doesn't get on. Nice residual slickness on the soap, which means that uh, you can go over these little spots without having to worry too much. Maybe that's that little bit there. That was the same spot. Great. Yeah, very nice. Very comfortable. Okay, let's see how much uh, lather this brush gives up. Clean brush. Good amount. Enough for a face wash, definitely. Nice peaks on it. Okay, face wash, icy cold water, clean up my gear. See you for the post shave. See you for the post shave. See, 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 see for the post shave. What do you mean there's a van with square wheels with men with white coats? That's a really nice post shave feel from that soap. Yeah, very soft and uh, Silky. Okay, uh, post shave. Shake it up. There's lemon witch hazel. A little bit of that. Nice. Okay, the aftershave. Um, because I said it was a, a bore brush felt, kind of traditional, old school. I'm going old school with the aftershave. Jovan Musk. Uh, I love this stuff. It's um, it's available in the, I think you can get it in boots, places like that. It's quite cheap. Beautiful old school, musky, powdery barbershop style scent. Tiniest little bit of sting, and I mean tiny. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't last long, maybe a couple of hours, something like that. But nice, really old school. And to finish it off, I've not used this for a long, long time. Boots Freshwood Aftershave Balm. Uh, this is good stuff, really thick. Well, that's probably way too much. Yeah, it comes. It comes out. <laughs> you kind of have to force it out. I'll just put some on my arms. Nice scent on this, and it's uh, this is really good stuff for the price. 
but the price you pay this, it's uh, excellent. Oh yeah. It has a kind of, like a woodsy, it's really nice with that Jovan musk. And there we have it. Very, very good shave. Very comfortable, nice and close. Everything performed really, really well. Let me show you what I've used. Just let me put the lid on the, the bar there. We started the shave off with the EAD pre-shave cream. Um, Kind of smelled like Nivea. It's a little bit thicker than Nivea. It was okay. I don't know whether it added anything to the shave or not, but I don't care. I wanted to use it. Uh, the razor for today, fantastic. Uh, Pills razor. Yeah, really, really nice. Thor's hammer. Um, different angle. Good weight. It's head heavy, which I quite like. Uh, it's not a slippy handle. Very comfortable, quite mild, but efficient. I really like it. It's, uh, I only have it on loan, so maybe another one or two shaves and it's, it's going back to Barry. So thank you again, Barry. I appreciate that. Let me borrow it. The soap for today was Turtle Ship. Oh, look at that. That's, new. That's nice. Turtle Ship <laughs> Tejava, uh, which was royal milk tea with honey. Nice calming scent. There's a the soap there, all cleaned out. Uh, great cushion. Great cushion on it. The poche feel is uh, really good. Uh, yeah, feels really soft. Uh, the brush was the Grey Dog bore brush. This is the keyhole shape in uh, Coca Bolo wood. Uh, Grey Dog made this for me. Very good, very nice. Bore knot in it. Soft, soft as anything. Soaked it for about 10 minutes before the shave. Great. Uh, I had a little face wash with the remainder of the lather that was in the brush. The post shave was There's Lemon Witch Hazel. Old school on the splash, Jovan Musk. For men. And women. <laughs> and we finished it off with the Boots Freshwood Aftershave Balm. Excellent. And there's the shave. There's one dot there, and there's one dot there. But look at that. Really, really nice. Great products. Everything, everything performed uh, flawlessly. Oh, the blade. I didn't show you the blade that was in the razor. Great suggestion. Uh, I think it was Alex de Leon. Uh, he sent me these actually. Zorik Super Platinum. Uh, fantastic blades in that razor. Um, that's the key is always finding a blade that works in a razor. I mean, I could, I could take that another Zorik, uh, same blade that I've had, not the same blade, but the same brand, and I can put it in a different razor and the shave will be completely different. Um, that's why I always say to everyone, try as many blades as you can in as many different razors. Uh, just mix and match them all, um, just until you find what works. But uh, the Zorik, Super Platinum in that razor, perfect. And that's it. Okay, have yourselves a fantastic rest of this weekend. This is uh, Saturday now. I'm not sure when I'll get this uploaded. It might be tomorrow. It might be Monday. It might be. It might be Saturday. I don't know. I, I don't. I really don't know. Uh, but whatever it is, you can watch it at your leisure. It'll be there forevermore. Oh no! Don't say that, Kevin. <laughs> but uh, yeah, really happy with the shave, and I hope you're having some uh, fantastic shaves too. And. Uh, relax and chill out and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.